Oh, hello. What's up? Welcome to the office. I was thinking of making this uh, short little video. I just have to fart. Um, I'm currently setting up my rig for the upcoming The Haunted Gigs. And I'm actually might doing a live stream here in a bit. I haven't decided yet. But I'm, you know, I haven't played in two years. And the last time I played, I was using my Fractal Axe 8 pedal. But now I'm uh, thinking of switching to the uh, Fractal FM3 or the Quad Cortex into a tube power amplifier. So that's what I'm doing right now in here. It's currently going, man. Let's check this out. So I have this loop rappel on the floor. That's uh, what's being played right now. It's really good to have a loop rappel that's just going and going. I can tweak around a little bit. So I've been uh, trying to dial in the FM3 as well as the Quad Cortex. And the plan is to probably have both of them with me to uh, the gigs. And uh, I get to pick and choose what uh, I will use, basically. So at first, when I started all of this, I connected the FM3, I also connected my Axe 8, and I just didn't feel that I was getting a satisfying tone uh, with the tube amplifier that I have. So, same with the Quad Cortex, I didn't really feel that I was getting exactly what I wanted. So, I brought out this, which is the uh, Synergy Powerball module, which is a great uh, preamp, two preamp, I might add. I hooked that into the Fortin and uh, it sounded kick ass. So then I started to module that or like model that, sorry, in the FM3 and on the Quad Cortex. On the Quad Cortex, I made a capture, which uh, sounds very, very similar, I must say. And uh, on this one, I'm using the Engel Severe uh, amp model. Let me switch around a little bit. Yeah, you can. Uh, uh, okay. You can listen to yourself, okay? So, right now, this is the... I'll put this on the floor, right here. So, this is the Axe. This is the Fractal FM3 right here. Sounds like this. Let's uh, do, for reference, let's just do this one, the angle Powerball right there. So I need to switch in this right there, like that, and like this, into this, and then let's go. Right now, this is obviously just a tube pre-amplifier and a tube power amp, so nothing digital in this right here. Okay, let's switch to the uh, the quad cortex then. Was it the send one? Oh, hello. That's where it is. <laughs> and then we need this. I'm just thinking like a pro, like that. Then we have scene one. Is this my test right there? Yes, let's try. It. <laughs> So I don't know, man. I'm currently going back and forth a little bit between these two uh, molars right here. At first, I was thinking like, hmm, you know, maybe I should just bring this and the power amp and uh, play for that. But then 
you also have to add all the extras. You know, you have to add the noise gate and the delay and all that. It's nicer to have something in the box right here. And right now, I think they both sound pretty kick-ass, and I can't really pick and choose of uh, what I want to bring. So maybe I'll bring both. You know, just saying. And um, yeah, yeah. The only concern that I have with the FM3 is that when I'm up there doing my sound check, I know it, it will be pretty tough actually to kind of if I want to do make it make any quick edits or something like that it, it's you know I don't have the editor with me so then I would need to go and uh, you know kind of navigate this thing through the uh, through this which is not as easy as one would imagine it's it, it's a lot easier on the quad cortex where I can just basically move around and etc but as of right now the quad cortex doesn't have an intelligent pitcher or a pitch shifter, which is something I use live. The FM3 has it where uh, I can, you know, blend in a uh, pitch, an extra pitch or an extra tone and uh, into a solo, for instance. The quad cortex doesn't have that at the moment. So that's a little downside. But I think right now, I think the what I have on the quad cortex sounds a little bit better than on the FM3, but they both sound pretty kick-ass, I must say. So yeah, I just wanted to make this short little video and uh, hope you dig it. All right, goodbye.